I am Anil Kumar. Let me once again thank all the viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest, writing comments and posting excellent question. This question comes from one of our subscribers, Mr. Sai Nath. I wish him all the best for his attempt to get into IITs and I hope the solution of this question will help many others. You can actually pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. It's a multiple choice question with four options. I will adopt graphical approach to get quick solution to the question. So we'll also understand few basic concepts to solve similar questions. We are given that the function f of x is equal to x squared plus p over x. And then we are given four options. So the function f of x equals to x squared plus p over x has a minimum at x equals to 2 if p equals to 16, maximum at x equals to 2 if p equals to 16, maximum for no real value of p, and fourth option is point of inflection at x equals to 1, p equals to minus 1. So basically, we are looking for maximum, minimum, and point of inflection. So without thinking much, we need to find the derivatives. First derivative is 2x minus p over x squared. And the second derivative is 2. That becomes positive. Then minus 2 times, so 2p over x cubed. So these are your derivatives. Now, well, let's work on the first derivative, okay. We could write this as common factor of x squared. We get 2x cubed minus p. Now, here, clearly, denominator is always positive. So we know x squared is always positive. This part is greater than 0. However, we do have a critical number here. So, we have a critical number at x equals to p over 2 cube root. So, we need to analyze whether this is a maximum or a minimum, right? Or neither. Now, we are given p as equal to 16. So if p equals to 16, in that case, x is equal to cube root of 16 over 2, which is 2. Right? So that is the scenario. Now, at this point, we have a maximum or a minimum. You can analyze on either side and figure this out. But I'll prefer to sketch the first derivative, only the top part. Since x squared is always positive, we need not worry about it. It is positive, right? 2x cubed minus p, and we know p is 16, so 2x cubed minus 16. So we will get a graph which will be kind of like this. Clear? Well, this point here is minus 16 for you. Right, p x cubed minus 16, and the zero we are talking about is right there. This is your zero at two. So I hope the concept is clear. Now, what do you observe at zero? The derivative changes from negative to positive. So here, this is negative on the left side of zero, right? So this portion is negative, and on the right side, it is positive. That means rate of change is negative and then positive that means we have minimum is that clear so the first option is correct minimum at x equals to 2 if p is equal to 16 now we can also analyze whether c is correct or not remember in iit test more than one could be correct solution Now, this is very important to understand. Now, 
maximum for no real value of p well from here you can see the graph is always heading towards quadrant one correct from quadrant three so it will always change from negative to positive so we'll always have minimum so we'll never have maximum right so clearly we'll never have maximum in this case perfect whatever the value of p may be right so so maximum for no real values of p so that is true we'll never have maximum right for either so that is also correct right it is never maximum now let's analyze part d b is clearly wrong part d point of inflection so for point of inflection we could write this as two common right we have x cube plus p let's take x cube as common denominator so that is the scenario now in this case if I substitute x equals to 1 and p equals to minus 1 I do get a 0 so so the so f double dash of 1 for p equals to minus 1 is indeed equal to 0 right so that's a possibility of point of inflection now let's see do we have a point of inflection at this point uh, so if I figure this out in that case clearly this graph also will have change of concavity on either side so so if you consider p s minus 1 we get 2 x q minus 1 in the numerator right clear so at x equals to 1 we do have a zero a critical number for second derivative now you could test on either side of this value so when you test the second derivative and if the x value is greater than 1 then we expect a positive value right and when x value is less than 1 in that case we'll expect a negative value so the concavity changes negative means concave down and positive means concave up so we do have a point of inflection at x equals to 1 in this scenario so this is also a correct option is that clear perfect so three options are correct a c and d in this particular case and easily by sketching you could actually get your answers I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.